Hey guys, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Kodiak Coos. I'm your host, Kodiak Coos, ma'am. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. What are we doing today, Kodiak Coos? Well, I'm about to tell you, you goofball, we're catching trout. We're making ourselves one heck of a meal. Stay tuned. <music> Alright guys, before we hit the water, we need to come up with a solid plan because these fish, they're real finicky, they have great eyesight, they can pick up vibrations, they can even see you out of the water. So uh, essentially, this is what we're going to do. We're going to infiltrate and devastate the Viet Cong in numbers so high, they will no longer be able to continue fighting. No, 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 that can't be right. That, that, nope. That was the Vietnam War. We're talking about trout fishing. Sorry, it's been a really long day, guys. Uh, yeah, this is what we're actually going to do. All right, guys, so here's the plan. So we got a bridge over here. Here's some waterfalls. Here's the stream. Here's uh, Billy Bob uh, fishing, right? Maybe here's his kid, Billy Bob Jr., also fishing, right? So essentially what we're going to do, we're going to helicopter in here get into the water and catch mad fish. First thing we need to do, get a helicopter pilot. Um, you want me to fly you in so you can, wait, what did you say? Rappel down to a creek so you can go fishing? Yes. Um, yeah, I don't really do that. All right, guys, so the helicopter pilot thing didn't really work out, so we're going to have to execute this mission on foot. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to walk to the stream. Very important, you actually want to get to the stream because that's where the fish are. You ain't going to find them on land, goofball. Uh, once we're in the stream, right, we want to look for deep pools. So at this particular location, we know there's a pool here. What do I mean by pool? I don't mean a swimming pool, you goofball. I mean a part of the stream where it drops down into a big, deep hole, right? So this particular stream, it's kind of set up like this. So we got a pool here. We got a pool here. Um, then we got kind of rocks. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go into the spot right here. This gives me access to not only this pool, this pool, but it also uh, drifts my bait right down to the rocks here. Okay. Now you're probably wondering, well, Cody, Akus, what's the actual method we're going to use as far as using our equipment goes? Well, let's get to it. Okay, guys. So here's our stream, right? Here's me. There's my cool, my cool hat. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to cast upstream and our bait's gonna drift all the way downstream, right? Because the current is going this way. You got it? Not this way, that away. And what that's gonna do is present the bait in front of these fish. Typically, they like to hide underneath little rocks and stuff like that. So, water clarity is, uh, whew, it is very important, and we'll get to that in a minute. Dang, missed them. Definitely creek chub, guys. I'd still be happy with that. Fish is a fish. Realistically, we'd want a nice trout. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Beautiful. Stop wiggling around. Oh, she's slippery. Oh, and just like that, guys, the fish is back where it belongs, out where the wild things are. I still count that as landing it. All right, guys, so like I said, water clarity is super duper important, right? Uh, as you can see, the water went from being crystal clear to this milky chocolate brown. 
Kind of like chocolate milk. Fun fact, chocolate milk actually comes from brown cows. Just kidding, it doesn't. It comes from space. We all know that. But anywho, uh, makes fishing conditions pretty tough. But as you'll see here, I actually do end up landing a fish. Uh, turns out to be a creek chub or a sucker fish. I don't know what you call them, but they're kind of junk. Not really good for nothing. Not good to eat. Um, but you can't give up, gangaroo. You got to keep on trucking. So we'll see what happens next. I'll tell you what happened next. Nothing. Unfortunately, due to really bad weather, wind, rain, snow, all that fun stuff, the water clarity really wasn't that great. I got out here and there when we had little breaks in the weather, but unfortunately, my luck wouldn't come until the end of this video, so keep watching. Um, I did end up catching more of those little sucker fish, chub things, whatever you want to call them, that aren't good for nothing. Um, so that was kind of neat, I may say so myself. Uh, eventually, I would try out some lures, which those are little MEP spinners. They just kind of spin in the water. They're a casting type method to catch trout. Really tiny. Didn't work with that. But eventually, we did get a break in the weather, and my luck did turn around. That's a fish. Alrighty, nice. Beautiful, that is what we're after, ladies and gentlemen. A nice, beautiful rainbow trout. Beautiful animal. That is how it is done. And what are we going to do with this guy? We're going to cook dinner. Finally, I did it. I became a master trout fisherman. Well, not really, but we battled depression, possibly a little bit of anxiety, and we went the distance, just like in Rocky 1. Rocky versus Apollo Creed. Kodiak Coos versus fish, I guess. But anywho, uh, that's kind of all I caught that day. I was actually pretty excited and very hungry. So uh, let's get into uh, how to cook up your trout. All right, guys, welcome back to the Bear Den. Now you're probably asking yourself, Cody Akus, how are you going to cook a wild caught animal fish thing into a gourmet meal? I'm glad you asked, friend. I'm about to show you. So we have several ingredients here, salt, um, garlic powder, uh, minced onions, I don't, minced cut onions, whatever it says on the label, I'm too lazy to look because I'm so excited we caught a fish finally. So uh, let's just get right to it because I'm pretty hungry. Let's roll. All right, here we go. So first thing you're going to do, here's your fish. Make sure you clean the fish out. I already put some uh, pepper and salt in there. We want some minced onions. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. Oh yeah. Feel free to use real onions or don't. Doesn't bother me one bit, guy. Uh, we need some garlic powder. Mmm, yummy. Oh, God, that's way too much. It's okay. We'll roll with the program. Just spread her out a little bit. Eh, a little more. Why not? Okay. Good. Now we need this thing. That's called a lemon, I believe. Lemon. Get rid of the sticker. That's probably going to poison you and send you into, like, a horrific state where you need to go to the hospital. So let's avoid that. Now we're going to put these lemons in there, like such. Um, put a little more garlic on the outside. That's probably way too much. As you can see, I'm a master chef. Okay, first thing, a little bit of oil. Ooh, look at that. That's neat. Okay, a little bit of oil. Make sure you get a cool thing to put your oil in like myself or else the fish isn't going to come out that good. True story. Of course, now we're going to need the butter because this is America and we love cholesterol. It saves lives every day. Just kidding. It really doesn't. I'm not advocating for eating unhealthy um, or dying of cholesterol. And if you have died of cholesterol, oops, or know somebody that has, I am truly sorry. Um, awkward. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep putting butter on here. This is probably way too much butter, but you know what? 
hey, that's show business for you. Um, that's probably enough, maybe. That's definitely enough. Where's my butter thing? There it is. Okay, the butter is safe and secure for the next go around. Last thing we're going to do, we're going to dump our fish in. Oh, gross. We're going to flip her around, okay? Flip her around. Now, you're probably wondering, Kodiak Coos, why in tarnation, you goofball, did you... um? Put the whole head on there. Well, that's apparently how they serve it at the restaurant. That's what my dad always tells me, but I've never ordered trout at a restaurant. Usually just catch it out of a stream. All right, guys, looks like my fantastic trout is ready to eat. Looks really good. You want the skin a little crispy. It honestly tastes just like a chicken wing, but um, before I uh, get chowing down here, thank you so much for tuning in, guys, to another fantastic episode of Kodiak Coos. Hope you guys liked uh, what you saw. If you like more, make sure you guys comment down below, hit that bell, and of course, subscribe. Until next time, have a Kodiak Coos Day.